What's happening guys? Welcome back. We're getting some work done today. That's right, I actually got a bit of time to spend on the car this weekend. So uh, we're gonna try to get some more work done on the cowl mold buck thing. And then also jump over to the chassis and build those jigs for the front spindles that we were talking about. So first things first though, I wanna lay some, uh, just some primer, some basic cheap paint onto the cowl mold. Uh, that'll give us a surface that we can then sand back and make nice and smooth before we shellac it. Uh, what I've kind of been reading about these fiberglass plugs is the smoother and flatter and straighter that you can make them in this stage, the easier your life gets in the next stage. So let's grab a paintbrush and throw a coat of paint on them. I feel like I linger, linger between the words to say, eh? to say the words you remember. Now we're here to take control over your body and over All your right, soul. so I'm sure that looked pretty uh, haphazard painting. Um, it was. That paint's not going to be our final product. We're just kind of using it to seal up the drywall mud and as kind of a brush on crack filler. So we're putting it on pretty thick, we're putting it on pretty, uh, pretty rough. Most of it's gonna get sanded back anyhow, so we don't really care what the finished product at this stage looks like. So we're gonna let that dry, and we're gonna move over there and build some jigs. All right. So here's what we're looking to do up here. Uh, we got, oh, God. we got our spindles. Um, I showed you guys these in a previous episode uh, with our our tubes and everything made for our A arms. So what I want to do is build a jig that bolts on to these four face bolts and holds holds this spindle right where we want it, and then that'll allow us to kind of draw out the size and shape of our A-arms, and then we'll build another jig where we can build our A-arms in. So I think I'm gonna use, I don't know, probably a, just a sheet of MDF and maybe a spacer or something to get these to sit here and then we can adjust them in and out and up and down, front and back and everything to get our wheelbase and our track width before we measure out our A-arms. So yeah, let's, uh, let's do it. Search 
prettiest thing in the world it's not real complicated it's just a 90 degree at MDF with a slot cut in it uh, but it works really well so we made the bottom flat so we can kind of move it around on the bench and clamp it wherever we need it that allows us to get our track width and our wheelbase set um, you guys may notice I took and stood the wheel up here that was so that I could get an idea of how far forward I wanted it to be um, so we got that figured out and then uh, we got that slot in it and that allows us to move the spindle up and down to get our ride height dialed in. Uh, unfortunately, the way it sits right now, I can't drop the spindle low enough to get to ride height because the chassis is sitting so low on the bench. So in order to do that, we're going to have to actually jack the chassis up and to do that, we got to pull the motor and to do that, I got to move all the stuff over there, including that cowl that we just painted. So I'm not gonna do that today. Um, I don't wanna start moving stuff around while it's still wet. But uh, yeah, so that's where we're gonna call the episode. We got the jig done. Uh, we got it so we can kinda arrange it where we need it. Next episode, we'll pull the motor, jack the chassis up, get an idea of the trajectory of those A-arms, uh, and then we can start building those. Uh, I also need to stop and pick up some 5 8 bolts because the, the heim joints on the bottom, on the A-arm there, take five eights. So, that's where we're gonna end it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. We'll see you next week. I'm out of here. <laughs>